In the prep playoffs tonight, overflow fire marshal game as St. Hog traveled to Marrero to take on John Errett. Purple Knights got a big performance in a close game in the fourth quarter from this guy, Biggie Caliste. Caliste would take it to the hole, pull up, and roll it in. And St. Og had a nine point lead. But John Kelly, the third, had a big night for the Patriots. Kelly, the third, the triple, he had 24. Later for John Era, a steal by Michael Sylvester. He would miss, but Kelly there to clean it up got the Patriots to an end, too. Caliste then with the biggest shot of the game in a close game. They get it out to him. He's beyond the arc, and he knocks it in and blows a kiss to the crowd. St. Aug, a winner. They're headed to the quarter 71-61 over John Aaron. In Baton Rouge, Jamar Jones and the Rumble Raiders against the Catholic High Bears. Jones, big game against Warren Easton. Big game tonight. In traffic, he scores as he banks it in. Catholic has the lead late. Tate McMurray, pretty hoop off the glass. Rumble down three in the final seconds, but heartbreak hotel for T.J. Dewey. Catholic over Rummel, 61-58, and a Division I non-select North Shore over Salmon, 76-74 in two overtimes. The Country Day Cajuns, the two seed in Division III, at home in the second round against the Loyola Prep Flyers from Shreveport. Senior night for the Cajuns. Jake Ibietta ready for the moment. They get it to him in the left corner. He knocks down the triple, gets the Cajuns on the board to start the game. But the Flyers, led by Caleb Branch, who's a really good player. Steal and one. Flyers then trail by one as he rolls it in. Branch again. The steal and one. He makes the free throw, ties the game at eight. Flyers led at the half by one. But Andrew Nelson would knock down a three. He had 16. Country Day onto the quarters with a big second half, 57-40 over Loyola Prep. Girls semifinals in Hammond, Division Three select. Newman's 12-game win streak snapped by Parkview Baptist in the semis, 43-38. to 